here the next day. It was getting a bit late last night, but we pretty much got most of it unconnected and we got it all, most of it pulled out today. Um, we've left this here just so we can see where it goes to the headlights. And we still have the tail light wiring back here, but that's not hard to pull out. Uh, we're gonna keep that there so we know where to run it. Um, and pretty much everything in here is gonna stay. It's pretty much just a wiper motor now because that's pr brand new wiring. So yeah, I'm currently drilling holes to mount the new Speedway um, fuse panel right there. And you gotta get, for people who are doing this with the same wiring kit, you should use two and a half inch uh, sheet metal screws because that's two inches. And then you'd have a half inch going into your place where you go, uh, where you'd mount it. So. I'll update you guys once I bolt this thing in. So, see, right, we got the electrical panel screwed in now. We drilled two pilot holes and then screwed the sheet metal screws in. And so now we got to deal with wiring up this mess and making it all nice and neat. So, I'll see you when we get some progress done. Part three of the Oldsmobile 1956 Rocket 88 wiring. So as you know, we've got all the wires pushed through where they need to go. Fuse panel is installed. And in this part, I got the key switch um, connected. These are the original Oldsmobile connectors. Um, you might be able to find these, but I couldn't. So I just picked up some of these connectors. It is, I got these at Advanced Auto. Um, it is AutoCraft. I will put a link down in the description for them. Um, as there you can see the barcode number. Um, so we've got the key switch pretty much wired up. And for this, the ignition. Um, this is a pain with the stock Speedway connectors. I spent like an hour trying to get these on this big of wire. And it doesn't go on. I might just be doing it wrong. But for this... I recommend getting some of, where'd they go, some of like, I'm getting these kind of connectors that disconnect, um, you don't really have to get the pairs, all you need is the female connector, um, so you can slide it in there. This is a Lowe's part, there's the part number right there, I'll also put a description a link in the description below. You can also find these at any auto parts store or big box store. Alright guys, so it's a bit of a mess up here, but I've got the wires ran through the firewall for the alternator and starter. Um, this is that big wire that I was showing you that the with the connectors that I used. Um, it goes down to the solenoid and then there's this other wire. It's a bigger wire. But it's the same gauge and it comes up and goes to your alternator if you're running an alternator which this wiring kit is made for an alternator so then you run it up through here and you put slide this boot over and plug this into your alternator and there you've pretty much got your alternator wired so but a lot of times with this cars this Wiring kit is not made specifically for the car, so you're gonna have to shorten a lot of the wires, which is why they leave most of the connectors off. So I'm gonna get this on and run this wire into the inside, and then we'll pick up with whatever is next. And as you know, we got this all hooked up, the key switch, and the alternator and starter, which is this whole page. And now we are on to the ignition switch signals radio and heater which this car does not have a heater currently so i can forget about that and right now we are on to this column um connector which would usually plug on into a 69 or 74 um gm column which this car is a 56 so that's not going to happen um so what we're going to do is i can see i already started we're going to cut all the wires off 
And we're gonna run them each individual to the switch like this connector includes the brake switch, which is right there. So we're just gonna put two female connectors on that, two wires, and that'll be the brake switch hooked up. And I'll catch you back um, probably tomorrow when I get there. Right now, we are in the process of doing the underdash wiring, which is all these wires. Um, right now, they're cut and split or cut and stripped, and we're going to solder it onto the original turn signal connector. All these um, connectors in here have been taken out and cleaned up with some steel wool. Be sure to save this connector because you cannot buy another one. Um, and so what you got to do is you got to strip all of these wires down and then we are going to um, solder the two wires together and put some heat shrink over it. And once we're done, we'll see you there. Um, but if you don't have a soldering iron, which I recommend you do, um, you can use um, female or just butt connectors and that will also work but I prefer soldering and heat shrink. This is Custom House here and right now we are in the process of hooking up the turn signals under the dash. When you take your car wiring apart make sure that you save the turn signal switch and the turn signal switch connector because they are very expensive if you can even find them because this one you cannot find it to replace it. So right, what you have to do is you have to cut all the wires. Make sure you leave enough wire so you can splice them together. Um, for a few of these, they're very short, like that little blue one there. But we should be able to get them spliced together. Um, tomorrow, we are going to solder them and heat shrink. And then we are going to put it on the switch and install it on the steering column. So I will see you there when that is installed. Alright guys, we've got the turn signal um, connector all wired up. So. Pretty much, it's pretty straightforward actually. It just takes a little bit to figure it out, but no worries guys, I've figured it out for you. So on this side, pretty much your left and right are all on one side. So on this side, it is the right side. So pretty much this is your front right turn signal and your left, or I mean in your um, right rear turn signal. And this side is your left rear turn signal and your front left turn signal. And then in the middle, you've got the power feed to the actual connector and the hazards that come off the flashers and also give it some power. So we'll get this on the switch here and we'll put it on the steering column and I'll show it to you guys then. And yeah, but right now I'm going to show you some new touches that have been down off the front to the wiring that I think makes the car right here, look a lot nicer. Here, we've got this like, cloth kind of type, it's not really cloth, um, wire wrap. It's red and black. It stretches from side to side. You can get this stuff on Amazon for like $7 for 25 foot. Um, here it is. It comes in this little envelope with that's all rolled up. And I like it pretty far, but it's kind of hard to put on until you get the hang of it. Kinda gotta squeeze it on there, but it goes on and makes it look a lot nicer.